I want to show you just how easy it is to create a lesson using Word, Microsoft Word documents, and iLearn. So, in this video, you can literally drag and drop your Word documents right into a lesson and it will instantly be imported. How does that happen? Let me show you. We're going to add an activity and we're going to add a lesson. I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it drag and drop just because that's exactly what we're going to do here. Now, there's a whole lot of things that you can do under here. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to save and display so we can begin importing our content. So um, the lesson can include questions and there's a variety of different types of questions uh, true false multiple choice essay um, and then content pages and what we're going to do is we're going to add four content pages and I'm going to show you how easy that is so I'm just going to label this page one and you'll see over here I have a couple of step sheets and tutorials that we had on Google Drive. I downloaded those as Microsoft Word documents and now I'm going to take this file and I'm just going to drop it in over here. Look what just happened. It instantly imported all the images, um, the uh, content, and I'm going to say next page down here and we're going to this is a button that will appear at the bottom of the page I'm going to save page and now I'm going to add a new content page page 2 same process. I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it over here. It imports all the images. And we're going to tell it where to go. There we are. We're going to add another content page. Page three. This is a instruction on how to create your iLearn course. We walk you through everything you need to do. Okay, and we'll do one last and final. Page four. And I'm going to drag the final image in here, the Word document. There we are. End of lesson. and I'm going to save the page. And now we're going to preview it. Here is that first tutorial. The first page that we did is a, a new video conferencing software. We're going to go to next page. You can see it imports all the images. Um, you know, you can work on some of the formatting because sometimes it doesn't import it just right. Um, so you can go through and, and, and clean that up. But you can see very clearly that um, how easy that was to drag and drop your content into a lesson so that the students can go through and uh, digest that information. There's all kinds of controls that you can set up that would even allow you to track how many pages they view, how much time they spend in the lesson, all kinds of stuff that you can do within the iLearn uh, Moodle platform. Thank you for watching.